Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you import uh, a fuse character to UE4 without any problems. For this tutorial we're going to use the collator data. I don't know how to spell it correctly but um, I will show you what it is. Also you need Adobe Fuse CC, you need Blender and you need an add-on for Blender which is called simple renaming panel. Open a web browser, go to Google and type in simple renaming panel. You will get a link here from Blender Artists. Go to the Gumroad page and yeah, follow the instruction. You will get an email from the developer where you can download this version I use here for Blender 2.79. The next step is uh, to create our project in UE4. So open the UE4 editor. Go to new project and make a new project. it like a fuse import toot and open uh, the third person project or anything else like you want and inside here we're going to create a new folder called fuse import and let's open or show this in our explorer here it is we go to content back and to the tutorial root director direction and we create a new folder called saves Close this and close this. Now we want to open Fuse so we can create a character. Uh, when you double click Fuse it won't open so you need to um, yeah, actually click five times enter very fast. I don't know this is a bug I guess and yeah that's the workaround for this. Sometimes you need to click more than five times but um, yeah it will open then two times or three times just close the other ones. Uh, I will pick the mail fit A and I won't modify in that at all. Uh, you can modify like you want, it will work with this steps here. Uh, I would just use uh, a higher texture resolution which took it with 2k. Save this fuse file to our folder. Let me check the folder. Here's the folder path. And go to our saves and let's just call it character. Uh, fuse save. And we also want to export the textures. Maybe we need them later somehow. So just export them. Then we click on send to Mixamo, pick a cool name, save it, and it will upload the character to Mixamo. Uh, you don't need to click anything, it will bring your browser up and starts rigging. Inside in the auto rigger, make sure you have the face blend shapes enabled and the 65 skeleton and click on finish. You only can have <coughs> sorry, one character in Mixamo at a time, so you always need to use this character. So let's click here on collator. Sorry if I don't spell it correct, but I don't know how to spell it correctly. So yeah, just pick this format here and the typos and let's download this. And in the meantime, this will take a little bit of time. We can actually go um, to Blender and enable our add-on here. Uh, first I will enable the screen cost key so you can see here what I'm pressing. I will press 2 times A to select everything and delete everything with X. And then I'm going to go to user preference and I will install add-on from file. Go to desktop here and pick this one. I already installed it. You need to make sure you have here check and then you save the user settings. The add-on is now under MISC and here we have the simple renaming panel and we will need this later for the collator bones. It should now have proceed the download. Yes, it did. I will save this and in the meantime I also can pick an animation to test if everything works. I will pick here the fourth. This is the run and place click here on in place and click on download. For this format we have a small problem. We can't use without skins. I didn't find a workaround for this. When I pick without skin I it will uh, have a wrong orientation inside UE4. So we pick with skin. And yeah, leave it all like it is and download it. This will also take two to three minutes and yeah, let's wait it out. When the download is finished, you want to open the downloads folder, copy them both, and open the save folder. So 
I export it here, or copy uh, paste it here, sorry, and then I uh, export it into two uh, folders. So we have here now our two collator files inside, and now we can go to Blender and work with it. So first we want our normal character imported. We go to uh, the path here, let's copy it from there. And we want this one to be selected and make sure you have these um, checkboxes checked and then import the file and here we are so press 1 and 5 to go into the front view click one bone here at the top and go to the armature and press x-ray so uh, the problem we face here now is um, that we have uh, wrong names for the uh, rigs and with the simple naming panel we can actually fix it. The first thing we want to do is to uh, remove this underscore here. We want to uh, search for rig underscore or under, I don't know how to call this and we want to replace it with rig double points here like this. Uh, we go to bones here at the top and we pick search and replace. So we have separated them now and the next step will be um, check if everything else is correct let me fix fast check it up and it looks good so this should fix now everything for us we can test this uh, we just save this first let's go back to, to a folder and just call it here uh, character punk blend so we know this is our blend file where we edited our character and save it and then we export as FBX and we don't want to have uh, leaf bones. And let's go back into our root saves folder here and we call this character FBX, we export it and now we can check in QA4 if we did everything correct. Click on import, go to fuse import to root directory, go to the saves and pick the character here. Let's see what we get. Yeah, make sure you have no skeleton selected. You want to import the move targets too. Uh, it, this can all be like it is, so make sure you have it like I have. So this is, I think, UA4 2.822. 22, and click on import all. So the import uh, worked, so let's check if the skeleton looks good with the uh, animations here we have no leaf bones that is correct we can see the animation it looks good but we have here this glossiness and we have no eyelashes so let's fix this so we delete everything here we go back to blender sorry this one and we go to the body sorry the eyes go to the material we want to remove this and the same for the eyelashes remove this and create a new one we call this eyes we add a material which can be the normal texture here and we do the same for the default a new one I, no, I call it default don't know how to write correctly sorry so um, here I will call this texture uh, we also need one thing to do, we go to edit mode now with tab, select everything and we assign it and we do the same for the default, press A to select everything and assign it. So now we can do the same again, export the character FBX like this, no leaf bones checked and when we import now our character it should give us now three more materials here body character and there it is so let's fix fast the body material so we have here only the two things so we go into import go into our root directory saves our character view save here we have our textures for UE4 we open them up uh, we don't want to replace those two that we have no we just want to import the three put them in here and let's look it up if we can fix it. 
So the first thing we have to do is to actually look what textures we have here. We have the specula, and we also want to connect it to the specula. We have the normal here, or normal, and we have the gloss, which should be the roughness, I guess. We can see it in a few seconds. You can press the opacity to the opacity mask and click here on masked. Apply them and go back to your character and let's see. Yeah, this looks much better. So for the eyelashes, we have to go to the uh, sorry to the default and put in the opacity and do the same here. Change the uh, material to masked and press opacity masked. Apply and save. And we are done. So now I can show you how to import the animation. For this again we need to open up Blender because we need to um, rename the bones like we did before. It won't work if you just import it. So we uh, go to import collator and we want to go into our running which is in our saves folder. And we want to pick this running file and again make sure to check all the four things. And now I will activate the screencast again and we press 1 and 5 to go into the front view. And we click on the bones here and activate the x-ray. There it is. And now if you go to, uh, no sorry, if you play the animation you can see it will run. So to uh, now actually we want to um, yeah, loop here, we go with control left arrow two times into this uh, view. We scroll here in and with uh, mouse middle button down you can actually move here around. So scroll here in and actually stop it. Go and check up where we have the animation. It's between 15 and 16 so we end this on 15. Now when we play, whoops, sorry, play we have here a loop. So go back with control right arrow two times and it will loop now our animation. Stop it and go into edit mode. Well, let's say we go into object mode here. And now we want to rename our character. Sorry, rename the bones of course. So um, yeah, we go here into the armature. Let's make this a bit bigger. And this one too, go to misc. Go here to armature, click on the first one, go to bones and let's copy it put it in and search and replace here. Now we want to rename this one to Examoric double points like this. And just search, oh sorry my bad, click on bones and search and replace. So everything was replaced and now we can just export this animation. We can first of course save this as our run blend so we have it for the Next time we want to edit this and then we want to export the FBX. But we only want to uh, export the armature, so click here on armature. And under armature we don't want the leaf bones. So we export here now the run FBX. And we can now check in UE4 if everything worked correctly. In our saves folder we have our run animation. Make sure this is the correct skeleton here. And let's see if it works. Import all. And we have here something wrong with the orientation. So um, delete this one. This was the thing which uh, is also when you download the collator without the skin, which happened. So let's check if we can fix it. If we change the, uh, sorry, the rotation here. And yeah, it worked. So this looks quite good. And yeah, that's it. And before we end this tutorial, um, I want to say thank you to all of you. And also I have a new email where you can uh, yeah, write me all your wishes for the next tutorial. So I'm gathering some ideas for the next weeks and month. And I plan to release one to four tutorials every month. And yeah, I hope you can inspire me and we will see what we get next. 
I can uh, also preview that I'm working currently on the new inventory system, which is very cool. And yeah, I think I'm gonna show you this in one or two weeks. And if you want to have me included some special things there, just uh, write me the email. Uh, I plan to have the normal inventory as a grid and a panel system and also add a crafting later on. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.